the mudflats of Dunedin. They may seem unimpressive, with broken shells and little life. But take a closer look. Life moves at its own pace. It's here where cockles make their home, and they have an important job. The housekeepers of the harbour, the minders of the mudflats. Life on the mudflat is tough. Living on the edge between land and sea, with ever-changing tides and temperatures. As the water comes in, life begins to stir. It's time for the cockles to get to work. These underwater workers stretch out their siphons. They have an important job. The water holds tiny flecks of food and sand. Vacuum cleaners of the underwater world. They create currents to catch the food and jet out the sand, cleaning the water as they do so. With every tide, their task begins anew, cleaning the water and helping to keep our oceans healthy. A hefty challenge for this tiny but mighty workforce. Burrowing into the sand, churning sediment as they do, like a plough, they keep it healthy and full of oxygen. The healthier the sand, the more animals will thrive. And like any good friend, they lend a hand to passers-by. Their passengers reach up into the flowing water for the fresh food and oxygen. Above the surface, they are not alone either. This mud walk may seem harmless, and this crab, a little small. But a larger threat is on the way. With piercing pincers, the shell can be prized open. When the tide comes in, and the crab has finished his dinner, the carnivorous whelks set in to finish off the cockle's carcass. But this is the least of their worries. Above the surface, trouble is brewing. With a change in the weather, the storm drains start flowing. Submerged in sediment, the cockles can't eat or breathe. They must dig their way back up to the surface before they are buried completely. Although the harbour seems harmless, many threats are looming near. The more sediment we make, the harder their life becomes, and the less healthy the harbour and the oceans beyond. With every tide, their life gets a little more difficult and we're not helping. But if we look after our waterways, they might continue to thrive. 